in this video i am going to teach you euler summation formula if f has a continuous derivative f dash on the interval closed interval y comma x where 0 less than y less than x then sum over y less than n less than or equal to x f of n is equal to integral y to x f of t dt plus integral y to x t minus greatest integer less than or equal to t into f dash of t dt plus f of x into greatest integer less than or equal to x minus x minus f of y into greatest integer less than or equal to y minus y we are before entering the proof let's take m is equal to box y and k is equal to box x i am going to tell greatest integer less than or equal to ts box t for our convenience here i take m is equal to box y and k is equal to box x next i am going to take any two integers in between uh, this interval y comma x closed y comma x so i take for any integers integers n and n minus 1 in closed y comma x okay next we take we have integral n minus 1 to n box t f dash of t dt is equal to integral n minus 1 to n n minus 1 f dash of t dt i am replacing n box t as n minus 1 i will show that how i write this we all know that that t is in between n and n minus 1 right I'll, we know that box t that is greatest integer less than or equal to t is less than t less than t right here n minus 1 is less than t box t is less than t from here these are equal so i replace t box t as n minus 1 next this n minus 1 is constant so i take it outside n minus 1 into integral n minus 1 to n f dash of t dt integration this is differentiation right so derivative so i can write this as n minus 1 into f of t limits n minus 1 and n we all know to apply the limit that is n minus 1 into upper limit minus lower limit so i write f of n minus f of n minus 1 at next multiply this term inside so n minus 1 into f of n minus n minus 1 into f of n minus 1 next i multiply this term inside so again n into f of n minus f of n minus keep this term as it is so n minus 1 f of n minus 1 i rearrange this t f dash of t dt right already i said that i am taking two integers only two integers from this interval but we have to find the value for y to x right so we have to find the whole interval value i that's why i take box y as m and box x as k so i am going to calculate the integral value for m and k for that we are going to summing uh, summing from m to k summing from m to k for that i start with m so the next integer will be m plus 1 right that is box t f dash of t dt is equal to uh, here see here n minus 1 here m 
here n and here m plus 1. So I replace this n by m plus 1 and n minus 1 by m. So I get m plus 1 into f of m plus 1 minus m f of m minus f of m plus 1. The next term will be integral m plus 1 to m plus 2 box t f dash of t dt is equal to for n we have m plus 2 so m plus 2 into f of m plus 2 minus m plus 1 into f of m plus 1 minus f of m plus 2 proceeding like this up to integral k we have to calculate for m to k right so here k minus 1 to k box t f dash of t dt is equal to we get k f of k minus k minus 1 into f of k minus 1 minus f of k next we going we adding these above equations we get here we have the term m plus 1 f of m plus 1 here minus m plus 1 f of m plus 1 so these terms will get cancelled like this m plus 2 f of m plus 2 will cancel up to this will get cancelled the remaining terms will be integral m to k i adding summing this terms so i get t f dash of t dt is equal to here we have k f of k right k f of k here minus this term will get cancelled this is minus m f of m then minus f of m plus 1 so i write minus m f of m there minus f of m plus 1 then minus f of m plus 2 minus f of m plus 3 up to minus f of k so i write this as sum over y less than n less than or equal to x f of n here see i write this as less than or equal to x here less than n because i we take y as m but we here we have the value m plus 1. So we didn't take the value m right. So y we get y less than n less than or equal to x. Since we get the value for up to k. So we get my y less than n less than or equal to x f of n. Next we have to find the value for this term. So I am replacing this term here. Which implies we get sum over y less than n less than or equal to x. f of n is equal to here k f of k minus m f of m minus integral m to k box t f dash of t dt. Next we take k as box x m as box y right so i replace that values k here box x into f of x minus box y into f of y minus integral m to k that is y to x box t f dash of t dt Take this is mark this is equation one. Next, uh, I'm going to take one term. Let integral y to x f of t dt. I'm going to solve this by integrating by parts method. That is the formula is integral. u dv method that is 
uv minus integral v du right here i am taking u as f of t dv as 1 into dt that is dt next du is equal to f dash of t dt that is v is equal to integrating integral dt means we get t next substitute these values in this formula we get is equal to uv minus integral vdu that is uv t into f of t minus that is we have the limit right so in limit y to x here minus integral vdu integral that is y to x v du v here v is t du is f dash of t dt that is t f dash of t dt apply this value that is upper limit minus lower limit that we get x f of x minus upper limit minus lower limit that is y f of y minus this term integral y to x t f dash of t dt this take the mock this as equation 2 next i am going to subtract equation 1 minus equation 2 equation 1 from equation 2 that's i get uh, sum over y less than n less than or equal to x f of n here minus integral y to x f of t dt is equal to box x f of x minus box y f of y minus integral y to x box t f dash of t dt minus this terms minus x f of x minus plus y f of y minus into minus plus that y to integral y to x t f dash of t dt we have to find the value for this term so i am taking this term at its right side so we get sum over y less than n less than or equal to x f of n is equal to uh, this term will come here so integral y to x f of t dt next i am combining this term similar terms here see f dash of t f dash of t the limits are same so i, I can com combine this term plus integral y to x here t minus box t into f dash of t dt next uh, here f of x and here f of x so i am going to combine this term i get um, plus f of x into box x minus x next f of y terms for that i i have taken minus outside so i get minus f of y into box y minus y hence we find prove the value for euler summation formula